This dog is not looking at any obstacles. It's just going through them. No problem. You see there. Okay. There he just saw. He just saw the branch and he just went through it. <laughs> In this time, Air 3 or Mini 4, they will just stop the track. And here you can see this stone just got me back again. Even after 5 7 seconds. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I have this DJI Neo with me. And I am going to test the active track on this drone with this smart controller. Well, we don't have active track, but I'll show you how we can crack it and how can we can hack that thing and use it as an active track. We have an option called subject scanning. We can use that as an active track. Obviously, we will not have obstacle avoidance, but this drone, let's see how this drone will perform on that active track mode when it will be scanning the object. And will it avoid the obstacles or it will just keep moving and hit somewhere and fell down? Well, we never know. Let's try it. First of all, I'll scan myself and I'll go through these narrow passages and the trees. Let's see how the storm will perform. And then after that, we will scan my car and try to follow my car as well. So it's going to be amazing. Let me show you. First of all, let me show you how to set up that active track. So we need to take off the drone first, otherwise we cannot use that option. So there my drone is in the air now. Alright, to switch that option on, uh, first of all I have to go to the settings. And in the settings, uh, in the control settings, you see this option, uh, subject scanning. So I have to switch on that thing. After switching on the subject scanning, now you can see I have an option uh, to click on myself to scan it like this. Now I am in the box, so I am in the frame now. Or uh, I, I can uh, draw a box as well, like this, like same like uh, active track. So now target has been locked. I am in the frame now. Now this drone. Now this drone will keep me in the frame. Right now is on the spotlight mood, so it's not on the active track. So to go to active track, uh, I must click it on active track and click on go. There we go. This drone is now following me. I can adjust the altitude as well. All right, we are in the frame now. Let's see how nicely this drone will track me. In the start, I'll start giving this drone tough time. Let's see how it will avoid these obstacles. But it's, it's working same like a uh, active track. Let's see what this drone will do here. There's a lot of uh, leaves around, branches around. All right. <laughs> there he just saw. He just saw the branch and he just went through it. <laughs> this drone is not looking at any obstacles. It's just going through them, no problem. You see there, you see. <laughs> Does not have obstacle avoidance, but no problem. The drone says, no problem, I'll still keep moving. I'll not crash. Let's see what you're going to do here. All right, you are watching DJI Neo tracking me without any, any obstacle avoidance. And it's doing the thing properly. <laughs> Let's see if I move quickly, the drone will lose me or it will keep me in the frame. Alright, it lost me and got me back again. Let's see here what the drone will do. Alright, it has lost me trying to find me. Let me see if it will get me back. You see, it just got me back in the frame. Let's see what you will do here, guy. Come on, follow me. All right, it's still not bad. I saw on Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro when they lose the object, 
they don't get it back. Uh, like for this kind of time, I just lost this stone. This stone just lost me for five seconds and it still got me back. Like you see, now they don't have just lost me. In this time, Air 3 or Mini 4, they will just stop the track. And here you can see this stone just got me back again. Even after five, seven seconds, it still recognizes me and gets me back in the frame. That is cool stuff. All right, there it lost me again and got me back. Let's try to confuse this drone. All right, there the drone has just lost me. I'll give it some gap. All right, the drone just waited for me about 10 seconds and then it just said the object lost. Let's scan again. Active track. All right, so this drone, uh, you can perform quick shots as well on this drone, on this tracking mode. So I'll just keep it a bit close to me. And let's get a circle shot. So you can adjust the speed as well like the other drones. There, it lost me and gets back in the frame. Same like the other drones, you can adjust the speed as well. You can make it slow or the faster. It's really amazing this drone it is a tiny drone, it has a small camera sensor, but the subject scanning called active track, you can see when it scans me and keep me in the frame, even when it loses and then it gets me back in the frame, that is really amazing. Let's try and see if this drone can track my car or no? I will just jump into my car and let's see if this drone has an option to scan the car or no. Alright, I am inside my car now. The drone has lost me. Let's see first of all what options we get here. Does it give option? Will it give option to scan the car or only is for humans only? Check my car guys is going to be really really amazing. Let me just bring it behind my car first. Let's track the car, active track, alright it says uh, subject scanning is only supported for the persons not for the car and now I'm gonna try go ahead and try and scan my car. Now it will be following my car, let's see how it will work. Critically low battery voltage automatically. Critically low voltage. Uh, all right, I tried. Uh, I tried multiple times to scan my car. So this drone, it can scan the objects, any objects, but obviously it will not start uh, the uh, active track. It will not start the active track because this drone is only supported. Uh, it even it showed me this drone is only supported to track the persons, like the human beings. So. 
if you track any other object it will not allow you to start the active track you can only maybe keep it on the uh, spotlight so it will keep you in the frame but if you try the active track is not going to work on the objects is only allowed on the persons so in this video i just showed you how the active track works on this dji neo if you do like the video please subscribe my channel until next time ciao ciao